It says, there is none like the God of Jeshurun. Now, Jeshurun is a pet name or an honorific title that the Lord uses for Israel in a handful of places throughout the Old Testament. And so essentially it's saying there is no one like the God of Israel. Mm. And then it says this, who rides upon the clouds or who rides across the heavens to save you. Okay, and we could get into some more of the details of some of the passages. But so you have this picture of God marching before his people, again, in anthropomorphic form. Lightning is shooting out of his hands. He's coming back on the clouds, and he's coming with myriads of his holy ones. Wow. So throughout this prophecy, there are a handful of critical motifs or themes that are repeated multiple times throughout the Old Testament, and then they are clearly picked up upon in the New Testament. And so whenever you have references to or discussions of the return of Jesus in the New Testament, all of these themes are, and motifs are there. God will come. So again, from a, from a monotheistic Jewish perspective, you have these prophecies about a Messiah who's the seed of Eve, seed of Abraham, seed of David. In other words, he's a man, he's a human. He's the promised one. He's the crushing one. He's coming. But then you have all of these other traditions that say Yahweh is going to come. Mm -hmm. Yahweh is coming from heaven with his angels. And by the time you get to Daniel chapter 7, these two threads, these two themes are interwoven. They're mm -hmm. interwoven. And that's where you have this prophecy in Daniel 7 where it says, then I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. Mm. Now, again, remember, no one comes on the clouds other than Yahweh, only yeah. the God of Israel. And so it's understood that this one like a son of man, he's in the form of a man, but yet he's doing something that only Yahweh can do. He's coming on the clouds, and then he's given a kingdom and a dominion and power and authority. This is Yahweh, but he's in the form of a man. And so you have, even before the New Testament, you have the interweaving of these two prophetic traditions. And then the New Testament takes this to its logical conclusion. And it says that the Messiah himself and Yahweh, who's coming back from heaven, they are one in the same revelation of the two comings of the Messiah. Hmm. And we have the revelation that the Messiah is actually Yahweh himself. So it's not a New Testament exclusive teaching. It's something that's actually well established in the Old Testament by the close of the Old Testament. This is something that a, a Jew would have understood 